Hello and welcome to Hunter Hunter Institute. Machi Komachine, a member of the Phantom Troop, is a female character whose arm strength can surpass that of Krolo's and strong muscles that can withstand Killua's attacks. Not only does she excel on the battlefield, but the scene where she instantly sewed up Hisoka's injured arm in the Heavens Arena was impressive, right? In this video, we will discuss Machi's Nen ability and strength. Also, a theory has emerged that all the members of the Phantom Troop other than Krolo may have already died in the Dark Continent. The Phantom Troop has not been wiped out yet in the last episode, but we are able to take a look into the past of one of the troop members when they were young. Hunter x Hunter is finally releasing new episodes and we are looking forward to the future episodes. I hope you enjoy this video till the end. If Machi is your favorite female character, make sure to like the video. Also, please let us know what you like about Machi in the comments below. 1. Machi Komachine Machi is a member of the Phantom Troop, a group of dangerous A-class bounty hunters. Her Nen ability is Transmutation. Like many of the other members, she is from Meteor City and was one of the first members of the Phantom Troop. She has pink hair and wears a Kunoichi-like outfit. She is good-looking, strong-willed, as well as physically fit and has a mature woman's atmosphere. She is the first character to appear in the Phantom Troop and is able to deal with Hisoka, an unstable killer who is feared by many in the Heavens Arena. From the fact that Hisoka tells Machi that he might get injured intentionally to see her Nen Suture ability up close in episode 55 of the Heavens Arena, we can see that there is more interaction between them than between other members of the Phantom Troop. She has a Nen ability that works like a first aid treatment, and her aggressive personality is shown in the battle against the Mafia in York New City. Not only does she excel in battle like Nobunaga, Feitan, and Finks, who are said to be the execution unit, she can also take on a support role like Shanark and Shizuku. 2. Personality Machi is an outspoken person who is competitive and is not afraid to say what she thinks. There were times when there was conflict between her and Nobunaga about Kropika's fate. For example, Nobunaga wanted to kill Kropika, but Machi believed that their boss, Krolo, wanted them to take Kropika alive. The scene in which the two, who are both strong characters, glared at each other and caused a can to pop from their sheer intimidation gave you goosebumps, didn't it? There are almost no scenes in the story where she is smiling, and when she captured Gon and Killua, her glance was very cold, right? However, she also seems to have a strong sense of camaraderie with the other members of the troop, as she tries to rescue Krolo, who was kidnapped by Kropika, despite disobeying the rules. She usually acts aloof, but after the battle between Krolo and Hisoka, Machi's caring and compassionate nature is evident in the way she nen threads the deceased Hisoka. She tends to aggressively express her emotions, especially when the troop is in danger. As mentioned before, although she is a female character, she has a strong body, and even the attack of Killua, the genius of the Zoldic family, was completely impervious to her. She was also ranked 6th in arm wrestling within the Phantom Troop, higher than Krolo. Even with Machi's high fighting ability within the troop, she is depicted with surprisingly few combat scenes, such as the combat with Killua or hanging and choking a Mafia member mid-air in York New City. Of course, she's not weak. When Hisoka asks, what if I kill Krolo in the Greed Island episode, Machi says that she would follow him anywhere to kill him. And in the Black Whale episode, she says that she will kill Hisoka, clearly suggesting that she is confident of winning even if she fights him. When Machi said on multiple occasions that she would kill Hisoka, who did you think was stronger, Machi or Hisoka? Let us know in the comments below. 3. Nen Ability Machi is a transmutation Nen user who manipulates Nen Thread. It is used to bind or strangle opponents in battle, but also to sew up wounded allies when healing. In the Heavens Arena episode, Hisoka's arm was amputated by Castro, and she used Nen ability to suture his arm back together. In this way, she seems to be able to connect blood vessels, nerves, bones, and muscles almost perfectly with her amazingly fast work. From this, it seems that Machi is skilled not only in martial arts and Nen, but also has medical knowledge. However, the fact that she can only physically patch up a wound and that complete healing depends on the patient's self-healing ability suggests that it is only a first aid treatment and inferior to Nefropito's treatment Dr. Blythe, one of the king's bodyguards. Her thread's strength is inversely proportional to its length. A one meter long thread could lift as much as a ton, and a thread as long as the circumference of the earth would be as strong as cotton. 
Also, the strength of the thread decreases as soon as it leaves Machi. Since the presence of Nen threads can be eliminated with Zetsu, they were used to track Kropika in the York New City episode, taking advantage of this ability. In fact, Kropika could not notice it until he mastered Go. 4. The reason why Hisoka didn't kill Machi. In the Hisoka vs. Krolo episode, Hisoka says that he will kill every member of the Phantom Troop, but for some reason, Machi was not killed and is only restrained by Hisoka's Nen ability, Bungie Gum. On the other hand, Shanark and Kortopi, other members of the troop, were cruelly killed by Hisoka's hands. We would like to explore why Machi was not killed. Reason number one, a warning to other members of the group. Is this the best explanation? Hisoka said, Tell all the members of the troop that if I encounter any of them, I will fight them until I destroy them. So he may have used Machi as a messenger pigeon to convey this message. Therefore, Machi did not die at this time because she was there when Hisoka was revived by Strength and Nen after his death. And if it had been Shonark or Kortopi who were there, they might have survived and Machi might have been killed. Reason number two, Togashi's decision. In the Krolo vs. Hisoka commentary by Togashi in the 34th volume of the book, it is revealed that Hisoka was gonna kill Machi, but for the sake of the story, he decided to let Machi live. This is the result of respecting the author's intuition rather than Hisoka's will, right? Reason number three, Hisoka likes Machi. There is a possible theory that he did not kill Machi because he has something close to romantic feelings for her. As mentioned earlier, there are more interactions and conversation scenes between Machi and Hisoka than with the other members of the troupe. Furthermore, Hisoka uses hearts in his conversations with Machi quite often, which seems to indicate his fondness for her. In the Greed Island episode, Hisoka asks Machi, what if I kill Krolo? Machi answered that it is impossible, but if so, she would go wherever after him to kill him. Hisoka's last words were, I like that. Hisoka's expression at the time looked unexpectedly lonely, and the fact that he used diamonds instead of hearts at the end of his words, instead of his usual light-hearted manner, is also meaningful in a way. We are not sure if he is envious of the bond she has with Krolo, or whether he is sad that Machi has the intention to kill him. But in the story, diamond is rarely used, and if we were to analyze it, hearts could mean affection or excitement, and diamonds could mean melancholy. Although Hisoka is a fighting lunatic, there is actually no scene in which he kills a woman, and it is possible that Hisoka has a motto to never lay a hand on a woman. Also, it would be cruel to kill the gentle Machi, who was stitching him up after his death, just before he decided to wipe out the Phantom Troop. Although Hisoka is cruel and perverse in many ways, we think that there is a surprisingly benevolent side to him. Reason number 4. Machi is already dead. Machi is a core member of the troop who has powerful net ability attacks and healing, but a theory has emerged that not only Machi, but all troop members, except for Krolo, may already be dead. Did you know that Togashi publicly stated that the Phantom Troop would be wiped out? In a Q&A session in the Hunter x Hunter Vol. 0, he was asked, what will happen to Kropika and the Phantom Troop in the future? To which he answered, they will all die. It was already decided that they will all die someday, even if it is not in the Dark Continent arc. In episode 366 of volume 35, there is a scene in which Krolo stands alone in a room marked with area number 37564, which could be read as Massacre, while an old man nearby stomps down on a cockroach. Later on, in episode 377, all the members of the troop gather and Krolo gives the order to eliminate Hisoka. The members of the troop then split into several teams to hunt for him. Normally, it would be natural to assume that Krolo, angered by the murder of Shonark and Kortopi, gathered all the troop members and gave the order to eliminate Hisoka, right? However, doesn't it seem strange to see Krolo sitting alone in the cabin, whose number could be read as Massacre, where he had gathered all the members? In fact, what if the lonely scene of Krolo in episode 366 depicts the future, not the present? The flow of the theory is 1. The troop members, burning for revenge for Shonark and Kortopi, gather together. 2. They hunt for Hisoka, who is hiding on the Black Whale in multiple teams. 3. The troop members except Krolo are killed by Hisoka or Krapika. 4. If we take in the lonely scene of Krolo, then the Phantom Troop, except for Krolo, is wiped out. This could be taken as a wipeout of the troop, right? 
Let's look at further evidence. Reason number one. After the Krolo vs. Hisoka scene, Sean Arc's conversation with Krolo, okay, it's been a while since we've all been together, suggests that Krolo either hung up the phone or had already instructed everyone to gather together on the Black Whale. Nonetheless, isn't it strange that in episode 366, Krolo is alone as it was mentioned in previous episodes that Krolo is very cautious and is usually not alone by himself. So doesn't it seem a little strange for Krolo to be alone with a troubled expression? And the area number of the cabin where Krolo was at the time could also be read as massacre, which might explain Krolo's expression of not being able to accept the fact that all the troop members had been killed. Reason number two. In episode 366, Kropika's ability to take away and transfer other people's abilities allows Queen Oit to control the cockroaches and to probe the other prince's movements. What is interesting here is that the cockroach also appears in episode 366, and it seems to be related to the story. If Hisoka and Kropika are working together with the common goal of destroying the troop, the cockroach in episode 366 could be an allusion to Kropika's involvement in the destruction of the troop. Reason number three. The fact that Krolo's clothes are different in the lonely scene and in the scene where all the members are together makes it clear that the timelines are off. It is also not surprising to think that this scene depicts the future given the troubled expression on Krolo's face in episode 366 and that all the members of the group have been killed at this point in time right? Based on the above, I believe that all the members of the Phantom Troop, with the exception of Krolo, are dead. And the clues are? The fact that Krolo is alone when all the members are assembled. The area number 37564 can be read as Massacre. The cockroach implies Kropika's involvement. Krolo's clothes are different in episodes 366 and 367. We think these are the clues to solve the mystery, but what do you think? Since the resumption of the series, no one has died yet, but we will keep an eye on the future. Please let us know your opinions about the theory that all members of the Phantom Troop are dead in the comments. Machi has been around since the beginning of the series, but has yet to be depicted in any real combat scenes. Will Machi's true potential be demonstrated on the Black Whale? If you don't want Machi to die after watching this video, you are already a member of the Hunter Hunter Institute. We will continue to deliver videos to show you how great Hunter Hunter is, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's all for this time. See you in the next video.